What's going on, everybody? I am Pixel Dan. Welcome to an impromptu a live show from right here in what's going to be my new toy room. Eventually, I've just started getting it set up. So that is what is going on here. You can see it kind of behind me. Um, and I had a little bit of time because I am just a few hours away from like hopping on an airplane and heading down to Mexico for the weekend for the unboxing toy convention. And I thought, you know what, it'll be fun if I get on here and do a quick live stream and show you guys some toys in my collection. Hey guys, what's going on everybody? What's going on? Hey, yeah, so my chat wasn't working a little bit ago, so I started things over. So if you guys are just joining this video, don't worry about what you just saw. We are starting a brand new video right now. What is going on, guys? So, what you see behind me is the beginning of my toy display in my toy room. Uh, I have been living in my house for like, oh gosh, since like, what, October now. Um, and one of the things I haven't had as much time to do as I wanted to was actually get this toy room set up. So a lot of my stuff is still in boxes and everything. Um, but I started finally putting up some shelves on the wall and trying to find ways to arrange things. So it's a smaller toy room space than I had before, but I knew that going in uh, because one of the reasons I, you know, one of the things I wanted to do first and foremost that I wanted to have like as the, the primary goal is to have a proper studio for all my videos. So that was the most important thing. Toy room actually comes second to that. So, um, I'm trying to find the best way to organize this because I definitely want to display my Ninja Turtles. I definitely want to display my Masters of the Universe stuff. And then I want to sprinkle in a bunch of other fun things that I collect. And I'm just going to cram this room full of stuff, uh, but still make it look as good as possible. So I started setting up my Ninja Turtle stuff just to kind of start getting a guide for what I wanted to do. And I thought it'd be really fun to kind of show you what I've got on my shelves so far. Now, this is by no means like a permanent setup because I'm kind of testing stuff right now. And you can see down here, like that is just a mess. That isn't anything. That's just me cramming things up on the shelf mostly, getting it off the floor, which doesn't matter because if you look down at my floor, look at this craziness. This is me starting to uh, unpack boxes and like pull toys out. And you can see I've got like a turtle explosion down here on the floor because I'm trying to figure out where to put everything. So, um, I've got shelves down here along the bottom, and my plan is to put shelves all along the bottom here. All, I'm going to block the windows. I have some blackout curtains that I'm going to hang up to cover the windows so I don't have a lot of too much light in here. I'm going to put shelves all the way around. This far wall over here is probably going to be fully dedicated to my Masters of the Universe display because that's my most the most toys I own. So, these will all be gone eventually. I'm thinking about decking this whole wall out in glass cases, like the Ikea Detoffs or something like that, filling those with all the figures, and then up at the ceiling above it, um, play sets, vehicles, box toys, stuff like that. So that's kind of my plan over there. So over here is where I've started setting up my Ninja Turtle stuff. And again, this isn't like official, like this is me kind of spacing it out and figuring out what I want to do. And I wanted to do like, um, Basically, I wanted to do a comparison time thing. So I've got like the main versions of the turtles from every line on these shelves. That's what I thought would be really, really fun to do. So like here, if I come down here, it's a little dark. Uh, I apologize. I'm shooting this on my phone. So I apologize if the quality is not great. But you can see along the back there, I've got the Toon Turtles. And in front of them is the movie stars. And in front of them is the most recent um, Mirage Comic Turtles that Playmates Toys did. And over here, I've got the next Mutation Turtles with Venus. She's just kind of right there in the front. Uh, so there's the next Mutation Turtles. And behind them is the Bay Turtles from the movie. There's still an empty row behind them because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do and how I want to display these. Um, so then up here on this shelf, I've got the 2003 Turtles, which I really love that line. That's still one of my favorites. Up above that is the TMNT figures from the 2004 movie. I think it was 04 is when that movie came out. And then behind them is the Playmates Classic Turtles. And the movie guys are back there. I gotta, I don't know where my Leo and my Donnie is, but i got to find them. They're in one of these bags. Um, so there's the 2012 Turtles right there, the first release 2012 Turtles. 
Uh, the classic turtles are in front of them. Uh, these are the Rise figures that I just did a video on. This is not where they're going to stand permanently. They're not, they're not going to stand in front of the originals. <laughs> so they'll have their own place on the shelf somewhere. But I just kind of wanted to match it up so you guys can see. I'm basically doing like a comparison time display. So you can see the turtles through the years. Because I've always loved how, you know, the turtles have always had so many different looks. And you can see how, they're all, how they all look like when they're all standing next to each other there. I think that's pretty cool. So the shelf up above these is my favorite shelf because these are like the collector turtles and they are my favorite turtles figures. So the first row right there is the Revel Tech turtles based on the 2003 series. These ones right there are the SH figure arts based on the original cartoon. And then above that are the amazing new NECA turtles from the 1990 movie. So it's kind of fun seeing those all lined up together. Some of my favorites. And then over here, we've got the NECA Toon Turtles. And over here is still my absolute favorite. These are my favorite Ninja Turtles toys ever. The NECA ones based on the original comics. Those are just, in my opinion, still the best Ninja Turtles toys. I love these. And then over here is the Video Game Turtles. So I thought that was pretty cool, the way I kind of lined those up. And then just for fun, I've got like the WWE ones right here. And I've got the Ghostbusters right here. And I've got the Mondo First Turtles right here, the first turtle. Because I think those are really cool. So I don't know if this is how this is going to stay set up. But I was mostly just putting these out to kind of see what I have and gauge the way I want to display all this stuff. Um, so up here on this shelf, I've got the Mondo, Leo, and Donnie. I still haven't opened Mondo, Raph, and Mikey, so those will join them up there eventually. And then I've got that Shredder and the Casey 1-6 uh, figures there. And those are the Mondo Mousers right there. And then you can see I've got some boxed vintage stuff back there too and then up here i've got like a ton of carded figures like look, look at all these carded carded figures so these are some of my favorites right here in the front mutagen man is my favorite figure from the original line the space cadet raf is super nostalgic for me because he was one of my favorites as a kid so i've got a carded version of him there uh let's see what else do i have up here i got like there's undercover donnie i have all of the star trek turtles they're all right there and let's see, behind Mutagen Man. Oh, Mondo Gecko's back there. Look at that, unpunched. He's in great shape. So yeah, there's my, my Mondo Gecko. Uh, up here on the top, I got, I love these right here as well. These are the Good Smile Turtles. And Mega Box Krang is up there. I got that autographed by Peter Laird, that Fujitoid. I got the NECA Black and White Turtles uh, in their box still, which is really cool. That's a, that's a first release Leonardo up there, unpunched. That is a 1988 first edition Leonardo, unpunched. I couldn't believe that I found that. So he is in great shape. I got that sweet lunch box and collector case. So yeah, that's, that's just a very small portion of my turtle stuff that I'm just kind of putting up there right now just to show it. But you can see I've got like all this stuff down here too. And uh, I want to fill all these up with like the various villains and different figures from the different lines. Like there's, these are the crazy, like, uh, what were they like the monster turtles or something like that from the 2003 series. So that's pretty cool. And then there's just like this, this crazy bunch up here. These, these are some of my favorites from the vintage line. These dinosaur turtles. This is Ank Leo and Tricera Mike. I love these. This is some fun stuff. Um, so you can see I got lots of this kind of crazy stuff. There's my Technodrome. The eyeball is around there somewhere. The, <laughs> this stuff is a mess. Eventually I'm going to get this all cleaned up. And it's going to be nice and cool looking. And uh, let's see. I got some stuff over here stacked up too. Some good turtle stuff. So let's see. This is a 2012 Raphael from Japan. This is what the packages look like in Japan. So slightly different than what we got here in the U.S. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's just like a 2003 uh, Paleo Petroleo. And uh, here's some of those weird little uh, alien guys from the TMNT movie. And I got Casey Jones. And Master Splinter. 
And this is a, this is, I love this figure too. You can see he actually, the blister bubble came off, which is a bummer, but that's classic rocker Leo. This is a great series. I, 20, I, <laughs> Rick and Morty, you keep saying 2012, please, but I definitely showed you my 2012 figures up there. You saw them, right? <laughs> I definitely showed you them. And I've got, I've obviously got a ton more like here. Uh, Cause I reviewed the entire 2012 line. So like all my 2012 figures are still in this tote right here. So they're, they're definitely going to be in here. Um, I do not have any giveaways planned. I'm sorry. And I'm not giving away any of my turtles. So that's not happening. This is my collection. I love these guys. <laughs> I've been, I've been picking these up for years. Um, so this is blacktop Borden Venus from next mutation. So that's like a variation there. And then here's a camo Cape turtle flash. <laughs> Uh, this is like the villain from the line. What's his name? Dragon Lord, right? Yeah, Dragon Lord. And this guy too, Bone Steel. Yeah. Um, I don't have Scratch, but I do have Hot Spot. Uh, where did I put Hot Spot? I might not have moved him in here yet, but I do have Hot Spot. Dun, 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 dun. I'll show him to you uh, if I know where I put him. I may not have moved him in here yet, honestly. But I do have him. I do have him. He was a gift from my amazing wife at Christmas time. She bought me a hot spot. It was pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. What else is cool that I could show you guys? Well, that's the 2003 sewer right there. There's like the mini Technodrome right there. Uh, let's see. This is uh, some of the 2012 variants. These were actually released in the UK right here. So these are like, I think, right? Is that these or are these the ones that were, I think, I can't remember actually. These might've been released here. Two packs, or maybe these were the foreign variants. Gosh, I've forgotten at this point. Yep, I do have the pizza shooter. The 2003 series was awesome. It was, when I first watched the 2003 series, I really felt like it was like my favorite of the series. Uh, but then the 2012 series became my favorite ultimately. But I still really like the, the 2003 series. I think it's very, very good. Oh, here's a weird, uh, <laughs> this was a Comic-Con exclusive several years ago. It's SpongeBob as Leonardo and Plankton as Shredder. That's awesome. Uh, no, I don't have Night Watcher Raphael. He's one of the ones I still need to get. Uh, they probably do get dusty, but I just now set these up. Um, eventually toys, yes, all toys would get dusty. Uh, and I've never been very good at keeping them clean. I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. That's one of the things I need to be better at. Uh, yeah, I did buy the SH Figure X Turtles. They're right there. I showed them a little bit ago. So over here, I'll show you guys some of this stuff over here too. Like this is kind of, like I said, I just started cramming stuff up here to get it off the floor, but I did set up my retro gaming area so I can plug in some of my stuff. Forgive the mess. Me and my son have been playing some games up here. And so it's kind of messy, uh, but you can see I've got, I've got a TV set up in here so I can play some video games and I've got like my Sega Genesis. Look, Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist is in there right now. That's what we were playing. Uh, but I got my NES and my Super NES and my 64 and my GameCube and my Master System and my PS2 and my Turbo Graphics and my Dreamcast and my Sega Saturn and my PS1 and my Atari 2600 and my Intellivision. And then here's a whole bunch of games, NES games, Famicom games. Master System, Genesis, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. So that stuff's all just kind of crammed in there right now. And then I've got like some various handhelds up here. So like there's my Game & Watch stuff. And hey, look, there's a Ninja Turtles handheld. Stuff in there. I got a couple figures back there. And I got some more video game figures kind of chilling up here for right now. There's Pepsi Man. So these probably won't like... Like I said, this is all just sort of temporary at the moment. I just kind of crammed a lot of this stuff up here. I mean, the video games are going to stay over here. But, like, a lot of this I just stuck on shelves to get it up off the floor because I'm trying to envision what my room is going to look like. Oh, there's my virtual boy. So there we go. That's that's really, like, all I've got going on right now. Like, here, I'll get a good backup shot so you can see. There you go. That's turtles right over there. That section right there is turtles. 
And those shelves down there will fill out with turtles. And then I'll put shelves all around there that'll have turtles in it. And then He-Man stuff will be over here. And then I got to cram other things in here somewhere. Like th there's going to be shelves all over that wall. And I'll probably deck some stuff out all around here. Like I'm going to do everything I can, right? It's just a fill of this place up with toys as much as possible. So there we go. So I think that's really all I, I got to show you guys, but I thought it'd be really fun to give you a little tour of, of what's going on. Somebody put sunlight equals death. I know you must've missed the part where I said, I just bought blackout curtains and I'm going to hang out blackout curtains. So don't worry. Don't worry. I know that. And I just got this stuff out and started putting it up. This stuff has all been in totes the entire time I've been living here because I just haven't had time to work on this because I've been spending all my time working on videos and uh, traveling to places like Comic-Con and stuff. So this will eventually be nicely set up. That's the plan. I hope one day I can get all of this done and then I can, I can have a great display here. That'd be all my toys. That'd be awesome. So I want to thank you guys very much for joining me. Um, I'm probably going to cut this off now. Um, because, yeah, I, I need to probably get things packed up and ready to go. So, hey, thanks, guys, for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for joining me just on this fun little tour. And stick around. More videos and stuff are on the way. I'm going to have a whole bunch of videos after this weekend, most likely. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Until next time, my friends.